Hello everyone, I would like to give a toast to the teacher who knew me the most, Mr. M. Mr. M was my vocational teacher and he taught us in the class of building and construction technology when I was in high school. He was really passionate about his class setting and he was very experienced because he had his own construction business at one point. The first day of school was very odd as we all went into the classroom, we were waiting for Mr. M to arrive and he turns the corner with a stern face. We're all looking at each other and as I was looking at everyone else, I was, realized I was the only girl in the classroom. He turned and he said to all of us, well, what are you all standing there for? We have to build our classroom, grab the tables and chairs. And we were all confused. So I grabbed the table and I was waiting for one of the boys to help me. And he said, come on boys, the girl's doing more than you on the first day, let's go. And that was our crazy first day. As the year went on, we needed pieces of plywood off the shelves and off the piles that we had all the wood stacked in. I kept grabbing the pieces of plywood, kept grabbing them, and I was waiting almost for the boys to catch up to me. And Mr. M, sure, he said, come on boys, Emily's doing more than you, let's go. And he smiled every single time and laughed when he said that because he knew that I had it in me. He believed in me. Next, we started cutting pieces of wood and I didn't know how to even do this. I never used a saw or anything like that before. He taught us well, he taught us the instructions the proper way. And as soon as we started, he hovered over me and he said, you got this. And he gave me a great grade and he was really proud of me. And I, he looked at me with such a smile because he believed in me. Then came a competition he wanted me to go into. It was to build a set of stairs. The competition consisted of using the measurements from the plan and transferring them into the day of the competition. So that was remembering all the measurements, remembering the process of how to build it. I was never even taught how to build one. I just had to do it that day. Mr. M sat right by my side the whole entire, say three hours of the competition. He cheered me on. He said, you got this M. And sure enough, I almost had it. Unfortunately, I didn't win the competition, but he had, he had faith in me and he said, you did great because you missed one small measurement, you were off by, but I almost could have won. And he was super proud of me. The whole school, the principals, they all loved me too. And in recognition of that, Mr. M wanted me to represent his building construction class in a speech at a meeting, which I actually didn't know about the speech part until I got there, but he said, dress in proper attire, and you're gonna come with me and we're gonna go to this meeting. The meeting consisted of the Board of Education, principals, other students, other teachers. How can I pass that opportunity? I got there and I had to give a speech and I didn't even know, they just wanted me to say great things about the class. So I went up there with no outline or anything and I just spoke from the heart. I said, thank you so much, Mr. M for all the talents and everything that I didn't know I had in me and you brought out. You made me such a great person and you let me strive for goals that I never even knew I could do. So thank you for such a great impression, Mr. M. Thank you so much. And I couldn't have done it without you.